Hi there, Scorpio. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 6th of June. With the Sun and Venus continue to combine in the most passionate part of your scope, and on the back of the Venus-influenced new moon of last week, your desires have been strongly aroused. And it's not just that. The Sun and Venus are also squaring up with both Jupiter and also Neptune in the first half of this week, which is a fascinating combination because it may see you yearn for something and that yearning can be, reach a powerful high. The trick is going to be about yearning for the right things because if you find yourself getting caught up in a desire for something or someone who's really not so good for you, then that may prove to be counterproductive. And there could be something that you want to achieve this week in a very direct way. And if it is around a relationship matter, you may not be in the mood to beat around the proverbial bush. Because your ruler Mars, your traditional ruler, is in opposition with Mercury, which can see you getting right to the point, especially if it is someone that you are very attracted towards. But any brusqueness on your part or any impatience with a point of view from someone close to you who doesn't quite understand what some of your motivations are at the moment may not actually be a good thing. So I think the trick this week is to understand in the first half there is a lot of very, very uh, powerful, potent energy swirling around still which is going to be affecting us all and perhaps delaying any really big decision until more towards the end of this week. Then your ruling planet, your uh, modern ruling planet of Pluto, continues to forge a great link with Jupiter, but I think that's going to become more prominent as this week dra draws on. And that's going to help you to think more strategically, to not get caught up in the moment so much, to not live in an impulse, and to be a little bit more logical in what you decide to do, but also do the things that are right for your long-term future. It can also make you a little bit more availing to other people's viewpoints, but I do feel that that side of you that can be very earnest is definitely going to be here this week, and whether it's about that possession, that material goody, or about that person that you're fascinated by, it may be very hard to resist making that move in the first half of this week, but if you can, try to give yourself some breathing space because I think by the end of this week, you will look back on the earlier parts of the week in a different way and perhaps with some amusement or even bemusement. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.